Hello guys! In this video I will show you how to create the moves crouch animation for the first person shooter. As you know, Unreal Engine has its internal crouch implementation, but as you may notice, when you press crouch, it actually just changes the capsule component height and this change isn't smooth just like this grid step so to fix this we need to implement the custom crouch function before we start we need to go to project settings and to add the action mapping for our crouch here also, we need to select the character movement component inside our first person character and under details panel search for can crouch. Without it, even if you have the crouch and uncrouch operations or functions, you won't be able to crouch. So select it by default. And now I'll show you what I meant. When I press C button, you can see that I am crouching right now, but the animation isn't very smooth. Also, by default, when I crouch, my walk speed is less than the normal speed when I walk. Also, I don't have any ability to jump. So it's pretty standard behavior for most of first person shooters. So we also need to recreate this in our custom crouch implementation. So as we use the custom implementation, we don't need to have any can crouch ability. We will use the timeline for our crouch animation. I do also have the my custom function. I added it here. It's called custom crouch and by default it has the boolean variable. It's called state. So Please do the same and it checks whether I change my crouch state. If it's so, I change the max walk speed, not max walk speed crouched because we don't use internal ability. Also make sure that when you uncrouch, you need to change your max walk speed to actually the basic walk speed when you walk. It's just the example. Also, by default, you don't have any ability to set can jump, can crouch, any movement abilities directly, but in character movement, you have the movable capabilities. It's some sort of structure. So when you expand this category, you can see we have some states. So, to quickly change, and the most proper way to do this, is to set member in our nav agent props, because our movement capabilities is under nav movement, inside our character movement component. When we use set member, it will change only one particular member of our structure, because if you use break on our nav agent properties and use set
now mesh agent property with the make properties. You'll notice that that's a lot of unnecessary operations. Also, we are overwriting the whole amount of information. So it's very complex and very bad practice. So please use set members in structure. For state when we are crouching, we actually unselect can jump and when we can, when we are actually walking, we need to bring our can jump back. Now, you can see it's on your own eyes, the state when I crouch and when I encrouch. Also, I have the capsule height, it's the timeline, with the capsule height inside our timeline. All it does, it's actually changing on the update the capsule half height. It's under our capsule component. If you open it, you can see that actually I have two points, 0 and 1. If our animation is one second long, we will be crouching very long time and it's actually not proper way. So for this, actually this animation from 0 to 1 is some sort of the like reference behavior. So think of like 0 and 1 linear gradient. And if you want to change the duration, how much time the animation should take, on the event begin play here, I have set play rate for my timeline and this sort of arithmetics where 1 divided by the number of seconds is the new play rate for our timeline. So if I use 2 here instead of 0 0.25, my animation will last, will last 2 seconds. By this one, my animation will actually take only 0 0.25 seconds. I do need to make this only when the event begin play fires. And here is our new crouch smooth behavior. Also, inside the timeline, I have default values for from what value should I start? It's actually my default capsule height and this one is for the crouch state. So changing these values also changed the height of, as you know, capsule component and the height of the collision capsule. Now, if I press play, you can see that animation is proper one. Also, I'm walking with low speed when I unpress, I'm walking with the normal speed. It's very smooth transition. Also, I cannot jump and now I can. So, I hope you like what you see. And please subscribe if you want to see more such videos, leave your feedback, leave your requests, and see you soon.